Alright guys, so in this video we're checking out the Twig Mutant 4 inch. This is a collaboration project between Beta FPV and Racer X, and this basically has uh, all the same electronics um, as the X Knight that you saw, that 4 inch you saw about a week or two ago on my channel. And I'll explain all the little differences here, but it's pretty similar. Um, you have the same Cadex Rattel camera, uh, same canopy, um, same uh, basically the way the antennas work for the XM Plus receiver here. Uh, the A01 video transmitter, 25 200 milliwatt video transmitter, and same circular polarized antenna, and the same all in one 20 amp um, flight controller, which is basically your whoop style flight controller, 20 amp 400 ESCs all together. Now, what's different here is the frame and the motors and the props. So, let me just show you how similar this is to the X Knight. And you can see the X Knight is a traditional X style frame. It's 160 millimeters motor to motor and they're both the almost identical in dimensions X style frames. Um, yeah, and uh, the only difference is you don't have that bracing here in the front like you do on this is a very classic twig style frame. I think all of their frames have this bracing with the curved front brace and then this extension that goes to the front here behind underneath the camera and then you have a straight across across the back for the brace there. And what this allows is um, basically a reduction in the width or the thickness of the frame. So the Mutant comes with a 3 millimeter thick frame, whereas the X Knight comes with a um, 4 millimeter thick arm. But this is separated uh, in terms of like the arms being separated. So it's, uh, uh, basically, if you break an arm, you can swap the arm pretty easily on the X Knight. Um, and the arms are thicker because there's no bracing. But if you do break an arm on the twig here, um, because it's a unibody as you can see, then you have to replace the entire uh, bottom plate or the entire frame basically. So that is the disadvantage. Um, the other disadvantage of this style of frame is uh, the fact that uh, these gaps here too uh, lend uh, to getting stuck in trees pretty easily. I've had many of these types of frames. I've flown close to trees or anywhere near trees and I seem to just grab onto a usually a little, little branch will go inside here or in the back here usually gets caught in the back and it just gets sucked in and uh, even with turtle mode very very difficult to get out so if you do happen to get one of these types of frames I highly recommend staying away from trees just stick to gates or something that won't get you caught in these little gaps here now other than that that's the only really major downside of the frame other than the fact that if you do have to break an arm you do have to replace the entire frame because it is a unibody and the advantage of the X Knight here is that if you do break an arm at four millimeters, it might be pretty tough. But if you do, um, yeah, the, you can, all you do is replace an arm, not the entire frame. Now, again, the other differences are the motors. So we have these um, RCN power motors here, 1506, 3000 kV. And you can see here, it's labeled 6S on this motor, which kind of threw me for a loop. And uh, I thought this was a this would be uh, capable of flying on 6S on a 4 inch prop and I think that this motor at 3000 kV on 6S is really only going to be going to be good for a 3 inch prop and definitely not on this 4 in 1 ESC because I read the specs again and it's only 2 to 4S so if you do plug a 6S battery in here you will probably fly the flight controller. I was actually thinking about doing that but then I wasn't 100% sure the flight controller can handle success, so I did check the specs and I realized, oh, yeah, I can't do that. So in the flight demo, you'll see me talking about, oh, I'm going to do a success flight after that. And then I realized after I was about to plug in the battery, I'm like, oh, I better check that. And sure enough, it is, it is rated 2 to 4 us, so you, that's why you're not going to see a success flight. But I think that if you happen to you know, um, get these motors... Um, uh, on, on, on like separately like not not on this drone if you want to build a 6s 3 inch i think this motor might be fine but obviously this is a 4 inch so you're not going to see the a testing of that uh, and this motor on 6s in this video and then on the x knight uh, we have the 1505 beta fpv motors at 3600 kv and this t-style hq um four blade or, or two bladed prop at four inches whereas on uh, the twig, you have a traditional 5mm prop shaft here. This is a Gemfan 4032 3 blader prop. So, you know, obviously, there's differences in weight. So, the 
frame is going to be a little bit heavier here with um, thicker arms, although they are very skinny and being uh, you know, extra screws and everything to, to construct it. But the motors are lighter on this side here as well as, oh, as the props. On this side, I think the frame is going to be a little bit lighter, although it's kind of hard, you know, hard to say because I didn't take it apart to weigh the frames by themselves, but it's maybe a little bit lighter because it's three millimeters thick. Um, but you got heavier motors here, so you, let's see, I think it's a, if I remember right, it's about 10 grams difference in weight. So let me just show you that here. So the uh, Mutant's coming in at 152 grams. And the X Knight's coming in at 137 grams. So actually almost 15 grams difference in weight. So the motors, are, I think, are the majority of the weight difference and maybe a little bit of the props. So in terms of the, the flight characteristics and the way it feels in the air, uh, definitely the uh, 1506 motor has way more power, even though it's a lower KV. Um, it's just because you have uh, a bigger stator, bigger motor, and three blades of, uh, three blades of, in terms of the prop here. So it just feels like it just corners better, um, just, just basically overall a lot more power than the 1505 motor on the four inch here, or the four inch bi-bladed prop. So this one here, once you get up to speed, it's pretty fast on this bi-bladed prop if you're going in a lot of straight lines, but if you're doing a course with a lot of turns, you probably want to go with this style of prop with a three bladed and um, this style of motor here, because I think there is no three bladed HQ um, prop here, just bi-blade only. So it kind of depends on what kind of flight characteristic and style you're going to go for, but beyond that, um, they're pretty similar, four inches, same electronics, same camera, same flight controller, video transmitter. It's just, it comes down to the motors, props, and frame here between, the two, between these two choices. Oh, and then the, obviously the, the last big difference here is going to be the weight in terms of getting under 250 grams. You, because of the, uh, this is about 15 grams heavier, the twig you're going to have to go with a smaller battery to get under the 250 gram limit. I believe I flew a 750 for us on the x Knight that was under... 250 grams, but on the, uh, on the, uh, I'm sorry, on the twig here, uh, if you put an 850 for us, because it's, a, because it's a, yeah, XD60 here, you're going to be over, I think, by about 20 grams. So you're going to have to find some, maybe like a 650 for us with an XD60, which I don't have, to get under the uh, 250 gram limit. So that's why what you're going to see here is that they go for us 850, and we're at about 200 and. 75 or 80, 280 grams all of weight here with the battery and the flight damage you're going to see. All right, guys, so that's uh, enough of me talking about these guys here. Let me know what you guys think between these two. I'll put a link to the X Knight video down in the description. You can check it out and compare how this one flies compared to the Mutant. Which one of these two is the one that you guys would go for? I mean, would you prefer the bigger motor or would you prefer a little bit lighter? That's kind of the two choices here. Obviously, you know, when you go with bigger, more power, uh, lighter, a little less power, a little bit more you know, agile and that kind of thing. So so let me know what you guys think in the comments below, which one of these two is going to be for you. Here's the flight demo, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Okay, so I'm going to fly this on 4S first. And we'll see how it does on 6S. I'm not really sure if this tune is going to work on 6S. It's a pretty tight tune. Feels pretty tight on 4S already. You can see it's already shaking on some of those harder turns. You know, it's not bad. Oh, it is super wet right now, so I don't want to be crashing in any water. I'm a little worried that on 6S it might do a flyaway on me because it's pretty tight on 4S. I mean, even on 4S, it's, it's a freaking rocket ship. Oh, maybe I should double check if uh, this is really meant for 6S or not. It doesn't feel like it should be. This is a uh, 4S 850.
And if you hit the brakes, <laughs> turn hard, hit the brakes hard, you'll, you'll get some prop wash. It's not bad though, but it's gonna come out way more in 6S, I'm pretty sure. And you can probably fly around it. Yeah, right when we do a hard turn, going fast. Video reception is really good. I'm not that far away though. I think I'm on 20, only 25 milliwatts. Ooh, watch out for the trees. Yeah, that sucker's fast. It's gonna be even crazier on six. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's gonna be that much faster. Unless you're going uh, full throttle. We'll see what happens. Let's see, I'm at um, three minutes, 15 volts. Yeah, on four S you could definitely take this uh, probably at least four minutes, if not longer. But I'm gonna go, go ahead and take it right to 6S now and see how that is. I'm really curious.